Uh, here's a quick video on how to make some homemade catfish bait. Uh, originally, we started off using uh, chicken breast, and uh, that I, I just didn't like it because it was kind of expensive. So uh, I switched over to hot dogs. But anyways, you take your hot dogs or your chicken breast, as we used to do, and uh, soak it in grape Kool-Aid. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right quick, so stay tuned. First off, what you're going to need is a cutting board, a knife, some hot dogs. Uh, I like to use bar S hot dogs because they're the cheapest things I can get. I can get them for about 98 cents a pack and you get eight, eight hot dogs, so it's going to work out nice. Uh, some grape Kool-Aid stuff. This is like the cheapest stuff I can get at Walmart. Some garlic powder and a container. Uh, Mom was getting ready to throw this away, so I went ahead and grabbed this. And uh, depending on uh, how it goes, you might need some vegetable oil. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do is open up your hot dogs and be very careful doing this. And uh, try to save as much of the juice as you can. So what I like to do is I like to flip it up like this and cut the top off. And then just pull these bad boys out one at a time and do this. And so you're going to want to cut your hot dogs into basically bite-sized bits. Like that. And uh, go ahead and do the whole pack. And I'm going to do that. I'll be right back with you guys. So after you get your hot dogs cut up and put into your container, <clears throat> you're going to want to take wrong way. There we go. You're going to want to take the juice from your hot dogs and pour that into there best you can. There we go. Now I got a couple more hot dogs in here. I'm going to finish cutting up and I'll be right back. Now after you got everything cut up, it's time to add the uh, grape Kool-Aid stuff. Uh, so the actual Kool-Aid brand, I'd only put two packs in here, but for these little drink mixes here, uh, I'm probably going to put three. But it also depends a lot on your container as well. but I'll start off with two. And you're gonna to wanna to take a spoon. I'm just gonna use this plastic spoon so I can throw it away. Kind of stir it up. Next, what you're going to want to do is take some garlic and probably a couple tablespoons in there. Shake it up. Put some more in there.
Sure. I start to stink pretty bad. All right. Next, you can use regular vegetable oil or corn oil, but uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of menhaden oil. And beware of this stuff, cause stuff about to kill you. It's so nasty smelling. But uh, I'm only gonna use two teaspoons of this stuff. This stuff is pretty ripe. I gotta close that back up. That's smelling awful. And uh, now I'm going to put just a little bit of extra oil, some cooking oil. Make sure your lid's on real good before you do this. Alrighty. That stinks really bad. Now I'll let that sit for about two days or so, and uh, it should be good to go. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and uh, catch something. Tight lines, everybody. Bye.